Hello, this is Ryan Share from PC DJ. Uh, we've put together this video for our Karaoke Cloud Pro subscribers, the professional karaoke subscription provided uh, by Digitrax that uh, is built into PC DJ Karaoke. Many of the uh, initial users of the cloud subscription are curious on how you download all available songs that are in the cloud. Uh, you can do that, well, the, the terminology we use in the software is actually retrieve the tracks. Uh, first thing you're going to want to do once you've, uh, you know, obviously signed up for your subscription through the site or with one of our reps over the phone is once you go into karaoke and activate the software, you're going to go to options, subscriptions, karaoke cloud pro. From this screen, you're going to click enable service. You're then going to be prompted to put in a username and password, uh, your user password, which you would have selected upon signing up through the site or with your rep. Uh, once you put those in, you're going to hit log in. It's going to then attempt to contact the server, verify your credentials. <laughs> It'll show you your registered computers. It'll actually ask you to register your computer once you do this, if it's the very first time. It's going to come up with a name. Just leave the name as it is, which is your computer name, and just hit OK. It'll then show up under your registers, uh, registered computers list. Uh, hit OK. So now that you're signed into the cloud, we're going to double click subscriptions on the left and then double click Karaoke Cloud Pro to log the case or to download the available song list. So once you're here, you'll see all these songs. I've already downloaded a couple which are indicated by blue K's, as you can see. Red KCP files indicate files that have yet to be downloaded. You can sort by this field, which will group all the files that you have downloaded together versus everything you have not. For the sake of this uh, video, uh, we want to show you how to download the entire list. You can download single songs by simply highlighting them, right-clicking, retrieve tracks. If I want to retrieve all, you would select the very top track in the list with your mouse, scroll all the way to the bottom of the list. Now, hold down both your control and your shift keys. So I've clicked on the very top track, it's highlighted, I scroll all the way to the bottom of the list using my little slide bar there. Hold down both your control and your shift keys on your keyboard. While you're holding those two keys down, click the very last track in the list. You'll see that everything is going to be highlighted uh, black with kind of a, a yellow-orange text. Now, with your mouse, right-click on any of the highlighted songs. From the drop-down menu, choose to retrieve tracks. Now the very first time you do this, or at least when this is ramping up to start downloading songs, it may take a couple seconds, um, up to maybe 30 seconds to, to start retrieving your list. And when it starts retrieving, down here in the status window, down here at the bottom, you're going to see buffering, and it's going to tell you which track it's currently downloading. You can also check the status of what's downloading from the sign-in page. It'll show you your tracks in your queue to be downloaded. So you'll know just how many tracks are left to be done. Well, not, not exactly the number of tracks, but it will show you what's next and what's coming up and how many you have left. You can also stop the process or clear the queue anytime you want so it clears out the, the list. If you say you don't want to uh, continue to download things, you have a gig, you want to stop it, you can clear the queue so it clears everything out of the list. And then you can pick up where you left off later. And that's what I kind of want to show you next. As you can see, we've already downloaded a couple tracks. Uh, I'm going to stop this after it finishes the next song. We're going to clear the queue. So we'll finish the current song it's working on. But what I wanted to show you is, and, and other people have asked this quite well, it's a pretty, pretty common question, is you know, if, the, if Digitrax adds new songs to the cloud, how are you going to be able to identify those songs? Well, you have this field here, as I said before, that has the blue K's and the KCP files. So if I sort by this field, once again, it will group all the blue K's, which are indicated, uh, those are downloaded files or retrieved tracks that are now on your hard drive, ready to play. So if I want to select only the new tracks, I would highlight the last one or the first one, depending on how you sort. If you sort down, it's going to put all the blue K's at the top, and we'll show you that way. So all your blue K's are here. We'll go to the first KCP song. So you highlight that first song with your mouse. Go down to the bottom of the list and hit Control Shift. Select the bottom one again. Right click, retrieve tracks. 
Now, if you want to make sure, if you have on your Karaoke uh, Cloud Pro sign-in screen auto update case, every time you log in, it's going to refresh the database and download any new available songs. If you want to manually do it at any point, you can just click update case now. You'll see it's downloading the catalog and build is done. So it will refresh the entire library, it will disappear. We'll go to subscriptions, Karaoke Cloud Pro again. It will once again load our list. And then you sort by this field. So if you've downloaded everything already, obviously the new songs are, are, are the only ones you're going to see that are going to be read with a KCP. So then you can just highlight those tracks. You know, say these were the new ones that showed up. Click the top track, control shift, left one, right click, retrieve tracks. So that kind of covers it. Uh, you know, I do suggest you watch the intro video as well, which covers some of the other things you can do with cloud. I uh, hope that helps.